We don't have uh, a correct of protection, so we don't have an exact amount of the antibodies that uh, could be linked and translated into a certain level of protection from infection, symptomatic disease or severe disease. Many efforts have been put in place and what we know is that neutralizing antibodies do correlate with protection, but it's very difficult to find a threshold that would define who is protected from those who are not protected. So we have to be very careful in not over-interpreting the amount of circulating antibodies because it could be misleading. We are seeing at the individual level subjects also in clinical trials that had quite high level of neutralizing antibodies but still got infected and vice versa, individuals with low level of neutralizing antibody that did not get COVID during the trials. So uh, I think it's very difficult at this point in time to consider any strategy with respect to boosted doses that would be linked to the level of circulating antibodies. There are two concerns here, is that if we uh, have a strategy in which we give boosters, let's say, every four months approximately, uh, we will end up potentially having problem with the immune response and the immune response may end up not being as good as we would like it to be. So we should be careful in not uh, um, overloading the immune system with repeated immunization. And secondly, of course, there is uh, uh, the risk of fatiguing the population with the continuous administration of boosters. 